thing that I think about when it comes to summer, and that is BBQ. So I bought a huge slab of baby back ribs, and I'm wondering if they're ready. I'm so excited. <laughs> now what am I going to do? Always low and slow, man. So that's a lot of smoke. It may not look glamorous, but trust me, this is real deal barbecue. You know, I have friends in Texas who, you know, Texas is barbecue, and this is just as good as anything there. I had never really liked barbecue until I came here. I was in love. It was love at first sight. With a unique northern twist. We have steamers almost any place we go, so this is just unique that they are barbecue here. This so-called Yankee barbecue is the brainchild of chef and owner Anthony Savone and his wife, Toby. I come home and I smell a funny smell and I'm like, oh, it's probably my dad. That's why I like barbecue. <laughs> Luckily, barbecue fans won't judge Anthony by how he smells. Every pit man is judged by his ribs. I was reading on your website, you describe this barbecue as Yankee barbecue. You better be from Jersey, and you better have an explanation for me because I'm jazzed about seeing this joint. Uh, we are from New Jersey. What's Yankee Barbecue? Uh, Yankee Barbecue is a non-regional description of our barbecue. Uh, we travel the country, look tasting barbecue all over, and there's different styles to different parts of the country and different meats associated with it. So we didn't want to pinpoint ourselves. We just wanted to approach it as making the best barbecue we could with great rubs and great sauces. And All right, well, we because seeing is believing, I'm going to have to see this. Take me back. I don't know if I'm convinced. Let's see what you got. I would love to. Let's, Let's do go. this. No one has ever asked me to remove the membrane off of ribs before. Once you get it started, it usually just peels right off. Clearly, I'm ready for it. <laughs> How would you describe, then, your barbecue sauce? I would say our barbecue sauce would be right down the middle. It's not too vinegary, it's not too sweet. Oh, yeah. That's our 14 different dry ingredients. Uh, but we have a couple secret ingredients in there. And I need to know those, right? You want to know, right, camera guy? You want to know the secret. Red birch beer. That's it's a, it's a great birch sweetener. Beer. A lot of people use Coca-Cola, but red birch beer, that's what we use here. Using uh, domestic baby backs, two and a half pounds. These are going to take about six hours. They're beautiful. This is our homemade dry rub. Lay it on there. <laughs> there you go. You got to give your meats massage. Got to give it the love. Oh, yeah. So this is why I'm here. This is a pit. This is the real Show pit. me this thing. I don't sure? even know what to say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is where all the magic happens. Uh -huh. Chicken Do you guys ribs? see what's going on right now? Look at this. This is like a whirlwind of like smoke and everything. This is the real deal. Wow, look at the juices coming down from this. the top to the middle, and it's well, like it's, it's self, a rotisserie. It's self basting all at all times. It's Disneyland, except in Wharton. So let's recap: half rack of ribs and a quarter chicken made with Tony's original recipe sauce and dry rub. Cook low and slow, baby. Because look, I don't even need a fork. It just pulls right off the bone. I'm so excited. I cannot tell you, people. I hope you can share my enthusiasm with me. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's like flat through mama so good. Okay. It's succulent. It's juicy. It's tender. It's low and slow. Who needs Memphis, Texas when you got it in Jersey? Guys, get out of here. Guys, whatever. Do you know of a place to get fabulous Jersey Eats? Well, I want to know about it. Send me an email at optimumlocalnj at cablevision.com and make sure to include your favorite dish.